Today, we're on an amazing lake. It's in one of the most beautiful parts of cottage country, where being out on the water is where it's at. The water's looking great, but new cottage owner Tom can't make the most of it because of a deck that stops short. So here's what we're going to do. We'll design a low-lying 14 by 18 foot wide deck that extends over the waterline. The upper deck will lead down through an extra wide set of stairs to another fixed lower deck. I'll then attach Tom's prefab docks. Muscle power got rid of Tom's old deck. Now, the ground is ready to set the back line and start framing a new deck for Tom. Tom has a, an idea where, where he wants his dock facing out towards. So we're just trying to achieve that by getting this back line and then figuring out where the 90 is off of it to get the direction of the dock. We have to start from here, work our way forward. Basically, there's no real trick to this. It's just basically getting the pads down on some solid ground and just check in with the level once in a while and we actually we hit it the first time dead on, it's level. so. These pads are uh, they're good right here. At this point, it's important to make sure it's perfectly square. Sometimes uh, people use a square like this, but it's not very long, it's not very accurate. So what you gotta do is measure out six. Six this way on the outside. Eight here. Measure across, should be 10 feet. So in this case, it's an inch less, so just basically we're gonna move that out to 10, and it's square. The next step right now is to put the beam in and all the posts, and then uh, start laying all the joists. I like to notch my posts, so the beam uh, will rest in the notch that I'm gonna cut out. Now that our first notch posts are in, we can pick up the pace and install the horizontal joists to give this upper deck all the support it needs. So right now we're just putting the rim board on. Uh, we did our chalk line, uh, everything's square. So what we started doing is uh, we're laying out the outside perimeter of the picture frame. Once we get the outside done, we'll fill in the middle. This is our, our guide. This is the height of our next platform. And uh, this is where our joists will be attached to. And that's our final height. Snug fit. We set the height of the lower deck with the ledger board. Now. It's all about getting in the water to secure our posts. Underwater, our posts will sit securely in level cement deck blocks. So once we get this last foundation post in, uh, we're gonna uh, start laying the joists out and then uh, get ready for decking. Tom's deck is 18 feet across, and we decided with all the people that come and go, uh, that'd be nice just to make the stairs all the way across to 18 feet. That's my stringer layout. So this will be our template. So we're just gonna make sure that it uh, fits okay. So we set the ledger board at the correct height, uh, now you can see why. Uh, we have four equal steps coming up to a finished tread, and right here it's perfectly flush. So it's good not to overcut with the skill saw. It's better just to come in with the handsaw and just clean it up. If you overcut, it can. Uh, hey, it looks doesn't look that nice, and uh, it'll weaken the uh, the stringer as well. We're almost done, Tom's new deck but we still need to add the prefab docks. Now that we installed and fixed the new docks, uh, it creates a great entry point into the water. With our benches complete, we're ready to install the sauna. So it's a seven by eight, and uh, it's eight feet long, seven feet in diameter. It's gonna be beautiful. 